Welcome to the Italo Zazen Arts Channel. In the previous video I spoke about supersymmetry from an artistic point of view though, from the hollow wood perspective, and reality being like the contemporary particle physics theory slash science approach. You know, what we have is material stuff, we've got dark energy and dark matter. These are the three sort of variables within a universe. So, you know, what would an artistic rendering be even like? Do it through a sculptural sort of form. And the one way I've come up with it is through the hollow wood approach, where you've got these hollow pieces of wood. They're hollow, so that represents the dark energy, but they also have cracks, so I've let them, you know, weather a bit. And what develops between the outer surface of the wood are these cracks. Now, they could be seen as more like the material stuff of the universe, where the wood would be like the dark matter, which is like seen as the gravitational pull between galaxies to hold galaxies from just flying apart. Now, I'm also looking at it from the perspective of a theoretical physics that postulates a possible many worlds interpretation. So in that interpretation, it's just not this world or this universe, but there are other universes. So we have this universe where antimatter and matter came into existence at the Big Bang, but there was a bit more of this material stuff. And through the process of annihilation, what we're left off is with this. Well, we're, we're here now experiencing this. So having these hollow wood, but more than just one, captures this sort of intuition that through that supersymmetry, you don't have symmetry just within this universe, but within the observ observable universes and like through these very powerful tunnels, it doesn't entail a supersymmetry. So that's just a contested point. How do you know that these other universes would also be have the same cons construction, like you have dark matter, dark energy, and material stuff, very similar to what we've got, but maybe a little different, like instead of matter, antimatter, and so forth. And that's the supersymmetry model that I'm looking at through patching up. And for example, those cracks can be patched up with resin or with putty or with glue, just bond glue, bondcrete, or beeswax. If I use one material for substance, I'm advocating for the supersymmetry approach that you know within this multiverse would be the case would be some underlying structure that is very similar to what is here now however if i start to play around with different materials like using an epoxy on one hollow wood and maybe say wax on another that would be looking at a uh, or modeling a universe that has a asymmetry about it so this is a sculptural asymmetrical universes where uh, the hollow wood basically has its structure but what is different about each one is what's being applied to the material stuff so in that way if we've got an asymmetry within the universe that would be understood as like antimatter in one universe, matter in the other universe. And then in other particular structures, it's stuff we just cannot conceive of. So that's the notion of the asymmetrical multiverse. And in some sense, that's what this hollow wood paradigm that I'm looking at, that I'm developing, looks at this possibly of symmetry as opposed to the asymmetry view of the multiverse.